Okay, so before we end this chapter, we're going to talk about some caveats. Is that we've talked about, you know, the Phillips curve and the natural rate of unemployment and all the things, but what you, what we all need to keep in mind is the first thing is the regional differences. So, for example, UN in Europe has almost always historically been higher than the natural rate in USA. Uh, that's because of a lot of labor market rigidities and customs and laws of the two places. So when we are talking about the Phillips curve and the relationship that inflation and unemployment have, it is important to keep in mind that we're talking about the directions of the relationship only. Like if one increase, the other will decrease and so on and so forth. But we're not talking about how much. Okay, so a rise in the price level and increase in inflation will uh, lead to uh, falling unemployment in both countries, but maybe the relationship will be stronger in Europe. Maybe it will be stronger in Bangladesh. Who knows? It, it differs from country to country. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is that this figure, M plus Z, remember, M is the markup and Z is all other factors that affect unemployment. We have assumed this to be fixed. They will not change. But that's not usually the case. In real life, they change as well. <clears throat> so over time, M and Z will change. Yeah. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Uh, what else? It has been observed that at very high levels of inflation, PC relationship breaks down. Uh, so part of this, there is a lot of reasons why this might be happening, but part of this is because of something called wage indexation. So basically when your inflation rate is very high, it's almost changing, not on a yearly basis, but from month to month and week to week, price level in the economy is increasing. Oftentimes employers will apply something called a wage indexation, which means that your wage will automatically adjust with the inflation level. There's no need for extra negotiation or you know, sitting down with your boss. Uh, every month or every week even, uh, your wage will automatically be fixed. So like if there is an inflation of 10%, your wage will, nominal wage will automatically increase 10 so when that happens, you see that price and wage are not really fluctuating. It's automatically adjusting. So there are situations such as this and other situations where the Phillips curve relationship may not hold very strongly. And at, at During deflations, the PC relation is weak. So when we talk about change in price, about inflation, we almost always tend to talk about a rise in price, inflation, but price goes down as well, it's known as deflation. And when that happens, the relationship between uh, unemployment and price level is quite weak. So when price is going up, uh, we see a much stronger relation between inflation and unemployment. But the moment price starts to fall, this relationship becomes weak. Uh, there are a lot of other cases. Uh, a lot of other caveats to keep in mind, but 